South Philadelphia. The skies opened up, welcoming the thunder. Shazam is seen racing towards Earth. He crash lands in the middle of the street. The hero rows, but the voices in his head continues to echo in every direction. Multiple voices. They are clearly not the original six that gave him his powers. These are new gods. Some are welcoming, but others are not so nice. Billy begs them to stop yelling, but to no avail. He takes flight, but his original powers are gone. It was Mercury who gave him his powers of flight. Well, Mercury is gone along with Solomon, Hercules, Atlas, Zeus, and Achilles. These new gods are the ones from antiquity, the ones from the legend of legends. And they dare him to scream the words. Billy relents. Shazam! <laughs> Within a split second, Billy, in his human form, is brought to an unknown place. One god is present. Her name is Annapel, one of Billy's new pantheon of gods. She tells the boy that the energies from Darkseid's death created a shockwave which disrupted Billy's connection to the gods chosen by the wizard. Desperate to not leave the boy powerless, the wizard gathered replacements. But before he could finish, tragedy struck. Zonus struck. Who is Zonus? Billy asked. Well, you see. Zonus was an ancient, putrid force of evil, the first to wield the Torment Sanction, the original god of evil. He is a butcher, the primal inspiration for suffering. He wreaked chaos for ages. But after an era of anguish, Zonus fell before his equal in cruelty, his own son. In defeat, he returns to the source, but now, he would have used Billy's power to escape to continue his violence across reality. Billy is but a boy, he cannot stop Zonus. But these new gods can help. Billy now finds himself in new surroundings. He stands before Siva, the god of destruction, and he brings the gift of strength. You think Hercules has strength? He is but a gnat compared to the god of destruction. The mighty god tells Billy that they intercepted his lightning in order to advise the boy. But right now, the wizard is in a battle not only for his survival, but the survival of all reality. Zonus seeks to take the Living Lightning Staff from the wizard. If he achieves his goal, there will be no stopping the God of Cruelty. The Destruction God is gone and another God presents herself. Eight is the Goddess of Impulse, Bravery and Instinct. Billy will need her when he goes face to face with Zonus. Young Bastion is not impressed and he demands that he be brought to the next God. The Molten Flames causes his skin to crawl, but the light nearly blinds the young avatar. Hironir, the god of fire, art, and death stands before him. The fire god tells the boy that he has their gifts. Shazam is a vessel for their might. They are with him. They believe in him. But if he fail, he forfeits his gift and they will go to another. Billy is brought to witness the wizard in heated battle against the god Zonus. The god of cruelty takes down the wizard and now, he possesses the living lightning. He turns towards Billy. The staff is mine, along with the power of Shazam. I will harness the power of four gods to bolster my own. I will punch a hole in the very source. I am Zonus, father of Darkseid. I will reclaim my late son's throne. And from Darkseid's seat, I will better his work. The god thinks he can strike a boy with lightning and win? He rows toward planet Earth, but Billy is not down for the count. You see, it's not a lightning staff that the cruel one stole. It's a lightning rod. And the cruel one doesn't know the first thing about Shazam. The boy is gone and the champion has arrived. The cruel one wastes no time and strikes Shazam with his sword. But with his newfound power of strength, he defends against a devastating blow from the sword of anguish and cruelty. With his free arm, Shazam throws an earth-shattering punch which obliterates the weapon. The second punch stuns the cruel one and with the words of Shazam, he Shazam. brings forth the thunder and lightning. Darkseid fell and now his father shall share the same fate. The battle is over, and Billy checks on the safety of the wizard. After regaining his strength, he tells Batson that the six old gods are gone. Four gods are secured, but Batson shall have six gods. The fifth is named Mamara Gan, a god of thunder of the dream time. He took a seat on the Council of Eternity with a new name, the Wizard. The wizard is now more connected to Billy than ever. He is now part of Batson's pantheon of gods, and he brings the gift of thunder and lightning. But wait, what about the sixth god? Well, 
The sixth god is laying right there. His might is slave to your whim, the wizard replies. Penance for an eternity of sin. Batsin's new journey has just begun. The true battle begins. For the brand new Shazam! <laughs> What's going on guys, welcome to Comic Island, my name is Joey and today we are reviewing and recapping the Justice League Dark Side War Shazam issue 1. So, uh, can we even call it the Dark Side War anymore? He died like one issue into the actual war and the Anti-Monitor one. <laughs> Since the Anti-Monitor is still roaming around, why don't we call it the Anti-Monitor War? Nope, <laughs> that doesn't have a good ring to it. Okay, so the Dark Side War it is. Alright, let's get into reviewing this issue. I gotta be honest guys, I love this issue as much as or even more than the Batman tie-in. We got action, adventure, and an education on the mythical world of gods in the DC Universe. I love myth and lore, and I love reading about these things in the comics. It's a shame that Billy lost his Greek powers, but he gets 6 new crazy god powers that probably have a few good stories to tell. The first four gods are basic enough, but I love the reveal that the wizard that granted Shazam his powers is now among his pantheon of gods. And I actually had chills when it was revealed that Zonus will be one of the six. So let's talk about this god. He is called the god of cruelty, but what does he bring to the table? How will he help Billy Batson? But before we get into Billy's new god power sets, I want to make sure we are all on the same page. Billy's old power sets are from Greek gods. He had the wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the lightning powers of Zeus, the courage of Achilles, and the speed and flight powers of Mercury. But now, he got the lightning power of the wizard, the boldness of Eight, the strength of Siva, fire powers from a Heron Mir, the compassion of Annapel, and finally the source manipulation of Zonus. These new power sets are quite strange. As far as I can tell, Billy can't fly. His flight powers are granted to him by Mercury, but none of these gods seem to exhibit any flight powers. But he gets fire and lightning powers. Throw in some earth and water, and we get Aang from the Avatar. Now Shazam is a lot more unique than four elemental powers. He got the power of six gods, but Zonus offers the power of the source manipulation. Okay, this is one of the strangest concepts to me in all of comic books. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? The Source Wall. It's a wall that covers the entire DC Universe, and only a few manage to travel beyond and return. Anyone or anything that touches it turns to stone. In this issue, the goddess Annapel says that Billy is in the Source, which looks like a peaceful forest village. And near the end, the wizards said that the gods don't die, they just return to the Source. So unless I'm totally wrong and they're referring to a different Source, I'm seriously confused about this whole concept of the Source Wall. So the only thing I wanted was for this tie-in to extend to maybe 3 or 4 issues. It felt very compressed. We cover a lot of story for just one comic issue. This tie-in has the makings of a really good story involving Darkseid's father. I was hoping that we get a longer, more epic fight involving more than just one member of the Justice League. He gets taken out way too fast in my opinion, but the great thing is that this issue is a must read for any new 52 Shazam fan. If these gods are here to stay, then everyone will be asking, who are these new gods of antiquity, and why is the wizard part of Billy Batson's pantheon? We also got a very clear understanding as to what happened to Billy Batson when he got bombarded with those voices in the last Justice League issue. I felt that we didn't need to read Batman, Superman, or the Flash tie-in to continue reading the Dark Side Wars, but this issue is a must-read in order to understand Billy Batson's evolution. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time in the Justice League issue 46.